to all the fathers, all the mothers, all the brothers, all the sisters, everybody in Iran. There's some that are saying that war is coming between us, that it's inevitable, that we must hate each other, and that we must be afraid of each other. And I want to tell you that I love you, and I do not feel threatened by you. The U.S. government has spoken, but not for me, nor for millions of others. And I want to tell you that through conscious thinking and the power of love, I stand with you. Let you know from this American to you, I don't want to hate you at all, and I don't want to fight you, and I don't want to go to war with you. Um, we both have the same aspirations for living out our dreams and, um, and doing good in the world, and I believe that we can come together in all this. The Americans that fear you do not represent me, and they don't represent most Americans. It's politicians and big corporations that want war just so they can make money. But the regular person here, we're, we're peace-loving people, and we, we do not want war with you or with anybody. The people of the United States don't hate the people of Iran. The people of the United States, for the most part, are a kind, generous, loving people. And I imagine that in a circumstance where the details weren't so tightly controlled by the media that it is owned by big business, that you'd have uh, the vast majority of people in the United States more than happy to be hand in hand with the Iranian people. All of this rhetoric and this war talk that you're hearing, understand that it's not coming from us, the people. Um, America and his allies, who so are throwing all of this rhetoric at you guys, uh, do not represent all of us, certainly. We do not want war with you. You are not my enemy. And I'm sure that any politicians, any leaders in your country that may say the same thing, that may talk about war, I'm sure they don't speak for all of you. I just think mainly that uh, we should treat one another with respect, um, with kindness, and, and just being fair. And uh, any mistakes that have happened in the past um, should be, you know, asked for apologies and forgiveness should be extended as well, too. The last thing we want is for any family to go through what our military families go through or for any more people, innocent civilians, anyone in the military in Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, to have to suffer and see their children being sent to a war that never should have happened in the first place and the sanctions and the hardships that we've imposed are unfair and are, don't serve the purpose. So let's proceed peacefully and in a loving way. The vast majority of Americans do not want any kind of military conflict with Iran. We want no further conflict. We're tired. We are being exhausted financially and, and, and on a human scale by all of the wars that have already been going on unnecessarily and therefore I urge the people of Iran to do what I and my friends are doing and that is to, to work in every way we can for peace. As an American who has traveled the world, been in 40 countries and been working in Russia for many, many years, uh, my experience has been uh, very positive by bringing people together and I hope that the people of America and the people of Iran could come together one-to-one -to -one in exchanges uh, building bridges back and forth between the two countries. We are all children of God, one people on this planet. We stand with you as you stand with us. All my brothers and sisters from Iran, I just wanted to tell you that I love you. To my brothers and sisters of Iran, I just want my voice to be heard and I want to let you know that I love you. I love you. We love you. Peace be with you. So, once again, I just want to say that I stand in solidarity with the people of Iran and the people of the world who all stand against war and austerity and stand for social justice. So, with that said, peace to everyone and um, in solidarity.